Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to explore one of the easiest ways to improve the efficiency of your home and reduce your electricity costs. And that is with water heater blanket. Exciting, I know. But it is a confusing topic, so we're going to roll through a number of things you need to consider before you move ahead. The first thing for me was I just moved into a new place and I wanted to know if it made financial sense to buy a water heater cover or a water heater blanket as it's sometimes called. And it turns out it does. You can do your own calculation, but in Canada, I'm paying about nine cents per kilowatt for my electricity and I have an electric water heater. You may have a gas water heater. The math will work out to be similar, so it's not that far off. Now these uh, companies will tell you that they pay off in six to 12 months. Uh, no, according to the calculations I've done, uh, they take about a year and a half, possibly two years to pay off. Now I'm planning to stay in this place for five years, so why not put it in? Now there are a number of features to look for when you're buying a water heater uh, blanket. The first thing to look for is the size. You can see that the ones I'm looking at range from 40 to 80 gallon tanks, and that's because I have an 80 gallon tank. You may have a 60 or a 40. If you have a full size tank that sort of comes up to your eye level when you look at it, that's an 80. Anything smaller is smaller. Once you figure out the size, you need to look at the R rating, which is basically how much insulation does, is this going to provide. Blankets provide a range between uh, 6 and R6 and about R12, something like that. So R8, for instance, is a low rating, not great. Okay, except the cost is also dramatically less than a number of these other blankets, which works out. Now, I found that in my case, the R8 blankets are the ones that are, make the most financial sense. We provide the coverage that I need at a very, very reasonable price. And by the way, all of these uh, prices you're looking at are in Canadian dollars. So uh, if you're in the US or somewhere else, you'll have to adjust it. So in the US, this you know $50 wrap is going to come in at about, uh, I don't know, $35, something like that. Now, the next thing to look for is the material. And there are significant differences here. So we're looking at these three blankets and they look like they're all from completely separate entities that have nothing to do with each other. But if you look closely, and we just did this by accident, by the way. They're all from these guys, Trade Winds Incorporated. Ah, interesting. So these are just resellers, except this one. This one's actually coming direct from Trade Winds. Uh, and we stumbled on that, by the way. It was not intentional. That gets to a good point. This is completely unsponsored. These guys have no idea we're doing the video, neither does Amazon. So if you find it useful, big thumbs up would be appreciated. So if they're all from the same company, what's the difference? Well, let's start with this one. This is your standard fiberglass wrap that has a foil cover on the outside. Now the fiberglass is sandwiched between these two layers of metal wrap. So you don't have to worry about working with fiberglass. It's not gonna bother you too much. Also, it's very thin. So it's not like working with regular fiberglass. Then there's this product, which is the same uh, material on the outside, just a sort of a tin foil, but it's got a foam core in the middle, but it's still an R rating of eight. All three of these have the same rating, by the way. And then there's this one, which is quite interesting. It's bubble wrap. Now, okay, that'll work. So why would I choose one over the other? Two reasons. One, the price. You can see the old school fiberglass one is the least expensive. The second reason is recyclability. As long as I'm going to keep this, let's say it's 15, 20, even 25, 30 years. Eventually, this thing's heading to the dump. And I wouldn't mind to having something that's going to break down. This will break down better than the bubble wrap or the foam core. So given the price difference, it's only $40. So let's call it, you know, 28 US. This is the one I'm going to select. And because they're all actually coming from Tradewinds, the shipping for me is the same on all of them. Now, if you've decided to buy something from a different company, and I'm sure you will, uh, something else to look for is what is included with this. So does it include the tape that you're going to need to seam up the edges? Does it include any spacers? Some of them have uh, a topper that can go on top of your water heater. Now, when you're doing that, you have to be very careful if you have a gas-fired water heater because you need to make sure that, that you're not blocking any of the vents. That could be dangerous on the, on the top. All of the ones I'm looking at come with plenty of military-grade aluminum tape. So that's the one I'm settling on. 
So hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up and subscribe's always appreciated. If you have any questions or concerns, you can always get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will. Because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.